I'm the co-founder of Infinity Miles. Uh, my background is electrical engineering. Uh, I have PhD in power electronics from Georgia Tech. And uh, my first time here, special thanks to Ahmad Reza for inviting me. Uh, originally from Isfahan, <laughs> Iran. And I came to the United States in 2009. Uh, for my PhD at RPI, uh, unfortunately, I left the PhD after two years, joined uh, General Motors, and after that, Capstone Turbine, Honeywell, Hyperloop, Hyundai. And in 20, 20, uh, 20, 2021, we established Infinity Miles to empower the future of mo uh, mobility through our state-of-art uh, medium voltage solid state transformer to accelerate the transition to electric vehicle. Uh, the company is in St. Louis, Missouri. And uh, uh, let's get to that presentation. Doesn't go. All right. So, the first market that we are looking at is the electric vehicle market. As you know, it's a $250 billion market with a growth rate of 23.5% uh, until 2033. And especially on the DC fast charger, it's a higher growth market by 33%, 31% uh, growth by 2032. All right. The current EV infrastructure charger is broken, in our opinion. You know, we have a few charging stations in the U.S., but 32K for 2.4 million electric vehicles. The bottleneck for the conventional uh, fast charger is the transformer. So if you want to order a transformer, it takes two years to get a transformer to step down the voltage and get to the uh, electric vehicle side. Also limited power. Most of the fast charger in the market, they are in the range of 100, 150 kilowatt. Recently I saw some of them around 350 kilowatt, but they are a few from EVgo. So it's putting a market over $30 billion to take, and we are planning to take that market. This is the current infrastructure of the uh, conventional uh, DC fast charger. So basically, we have power grid. From power grid, we have a low frequency step down transformer, and we have conventional call converter and the cabling and then dispenser. So current infrastructure is expensive from the equipment standpoint, shipping standpoint, and laboring. Also has lower efficiency as compared to our technology, and uh, we translate that one to the high OPEX. And then it's heavy. Only the transform is around six tons. And uh, the entire system is pretty heavy. That you know, make it more challenging for the shipping company and installation. And also, it's pretty large. Only the transformer is around 110 square feet for a one megawatt capacity. So with all these challenges and bottlenecks, uh, we decided to establish Infinity Miles. Me and my friend in St. Louis uh, uh, established the company in 20, uh, 21 and uh, we started working on the solid state transformer. This solid state transformer is new. Uh, some OEMs and you know some tech companies already started to work on this subject. In the past, it was not possible. The semiconductor switches were expensive, but currently the semiconductor switches are cheap and um, um, there is no shortage on that, so it's available everywhere. So it makes the uh, technology happen. This is our solution. So we are removing all the uh, components uh, from the middle of the uh, conventional 
fast charger. So we are removing the transformer, we are looking, removing the cabling, we are removing the converters, and we are just putting a single direct converter. So directly from medium voltage to the dispenser. <clears throat> by that, we are reducing the capital by 45%. We are increasing the efficiency by 3%. To 96.5%, so we are reducing the OPEX on that. And then it's lighter. It's only a box. You don't deal with the transformer, with the shipping, with the laboring. It's just one package that you put it and just connect it from the grid to the car. So 75% lighter and 65% smaller. It's pretty modular. So we can use the technology everywhere. We can use it in the US. We can use it in other countries with different input voltage level from 12 kilovolt to 18 kilovolt or 30 kilovolt. And the output is modular. You can have 10 output of 150 kilowatt. You can have five output of 300 kilowatt. So it's pretty modular. So with the infinity miles technology, the future of the EV infrastructure is going to be much simple. It's going to have a power grid. It's going to have infinity miles module and then dispenser at the stations. Where we are, we already proved the technology. We built a small scale 9 kilowatt technology in 2020. Two, we tested, we designed 1.5 megawatt unit. And this is one of the modules. So it is 50 kilowatt module. We are going to put 10 in parallel to make 500 kilowatt. We put three of those to make 1.5 megawatt. So we already built this one. And uh, we are testing this module. We already have a facility in St. Louis. Uh, 5,000 square feet of space with three acres land uh, with the advanced equipment inside. This is our product that we are working on that. We are trying to build a 1.5 megawatt unit. Uh, we are going to apply the most of the standards, even in the A sample. And um, since we are already involved in some of those standards committees, so we know some of those and those features. So we are going to apply to our A sample unit. For that, the, the, the goal was building the 1.5 megawatt unit. But because of the high capital that we need at the beginning, we tried to build a 500 kilowatt. And then we basically duplicate that one 500, 500, and 500. So for now, the design is 1.5 megawatt. But we are going to build 500 kilowatt and then Duplicate that one. Uh, we'll talk about this one. This one. All right. So we are protecting our technology through patents and trade secrets. Uh, our software control algorithm is going to remain as a trade secret. Uh, we have filed three patents so far, and we are drafting another two on the technology to secure the uh, technology and the one. All right, who we are? It's me and Puria. Uh, uh, Puria is in uh, Missouri. I'm based in California, Orange County. Uh, together we have more than 30 years of experience in the industry and especially on the electric power and power electronics. All right, point of departure. We are looking for a pre-seed, 520K. Uh, I know if I can call it pre-seed, because we already put our money and time to develop the 50 kilowatt module. Uh, but for building a 500 kilowatt module, we need 520K. Uh, 120K goes to the top tier team, 184K for the equipment and electronics, cost of two units, and we need 216K for 
uh, working capital and also upgrading our testing setup to test the 500 kilowatt. So our timeline, um, I need to change that to 500 kilowatt development unit timeline. Sorry about that. So we are looking at a 10 month uh, uh, timeline. If we start on July, we are gonna have the two units completed by April uh, 2025, tested. is gonna be our A sample and we are going to the B sample for the certification. Uh, just to share with you some of our competitors, uh, there are two uh, that uh, I know. Uh, Ampersand, they are based in Singapore. They already built a 1.5 megawatt unit uh, last year, I think, and they already raised $70 million. The other company, Resilient Power, I think they are in Washington. They raised $5.1, $5.5 million. And we haven't seen any product from them yet, and they are just in the development phase. We are not just looking at the charger market. Uh, it's a solid state technology. It can be applicable to wherever we are using a transformer, right? So we are just replacing the huge and giant transformer with the solid state technology. So solar market and wind energy market are the other markets that we are also looking at. Also data centers, they are using giant transformer uh, for stepping down the voltage. So this is another area uh, that also we are working on. I think that's it.